Hi there, there's a short explanation for how to use the IFC Enhanced Exporter for Revit, which is a Geometry Gym tool. So that's just a brief overview of the overall process, which I'll be going through in detail. One of the first things to make sure of is that all the links in your Revit file are linked by attachment and not overlay. So it's important to kind of have that first off. The Geometry Gym exporter uses the out of the box Revit um, IFC exporter. So in that in that case, I'll be just going through how that's set up. So once you get to the um, export option, you need to go to the modify setup. And you can see on the right hand side uh, the range of options that are there. So with this, we need to make sure that, uh, of course, if you're exporting links, that you activate that. In this case, also have the the elements which are only visible in the view um, option switched on. And if you have an architectural model or a um, a mech model that have rooms or spaces, uh, to acti activate that as well. The next tab there, um, advanced. Uh, in this case, we actually want the active view. Um, selected for creating geometry. Uh, and then in the other two options there, we want the IFC data attached to the objects and the site. So we have the GUID information attached there. Now, once you've got these settings, um, it is important that you create a profile um, in terms of this setup. So there's a button there which creates a JSON file, which is based on the settings that have just been created. And by doing that, um, you can then call that up for for use. Don't hit export at this stage, because all we're doing is is um, setting up the export and we'll do the real export with the geometry gym tool. And once you go uh, to cancel, you can see there, you need to make sure that your custom IFC configuration file is selected in the export setup. Uh, so at this stage, just hit cancel. Now the second part, I've written down uh, the things in detail there, and I'll do some uh, screenshots uh, as well. Now it's important to realize that the resultant exported IFC files, will, which include the host file and the unique um, links files as well, and all the objects will have unique GUIDs so they can be federated and used in downstream software. And also, if you export out the files, if they've been updated, well, the object GUIDs will be maintained in later exports. So that's an important thing to remember as well. So here is where the Geometry Gym toolbar is and the um, enhanced IFC export button. Uh, it will then take you to this little dialog box. Important to make sure that the export configuration file that you set up previously has been selected and it will be used in this case. So that's why that out of the box setting um, settings that were done are now activated in this. And that other box there where it says delete basis auto disk uh, export file. Again, you can keep them if you want, but it's really unnecessary. There are other options there. So the end result, um, and this is showing all the IFC files in the in the directory, you can see there where there are four files, which are the link files with the, the box that is there. Uh, and those link files have the linked file names appended as well. And so there are five files in this case, all links and the host file created. So if you have any other questions, contact us. Okay, thank you for your time. Bye.